Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video, we're going to be jumping into uh, my Clustermate Dreams account and we're going to be doing some polls for him uh, towards the Fatalis uh, Deck of Fate event. So let's jump right into it. All right. So in Dreams account here, we got uh, we got some we got 20 sacred shards here so he wants to pull all 20 of them towards the fatalis deck of fate there is a progressive a chance going on right now with some okay champions um i mean they're all good um but none of them are really super premium I mean, mishinaki is premium for hydra but the rest they have their use cases in certain areas so hern dig for dark fey ghostborn is just great for um, having 100 percent dungeon runs with seer comps for example uh genzin very good for fire knight 10 uh those super super speed runs uh the epics ep the epics are actually very fine armina very solid and uh Daithi is actually very good as well for the um sylvan uh for the uh sylvan watchers yeah all right so hopping back out we're going to be um putting mishinaki here and i guess Daithi for the epic it doesn't matter for mr dream so this video is strictly going to be about the shard pulls. I will be making a separate video on the Fatalis Deck of, event, uh, Deck of Fate event uh, separately. And I'll be also doing a video, uh, or in the same video, I'll be wrapping up my thoughts on this whole Lunar um, Titan event. Uh, my thoughts, my uh, plan, what I'm planning to do. And uh, yeah, we'll go over that in another video. But in this video, we'll just be pulling shards. So let's jump into the shard pulling here. So we got 20. Best of luck to you, Dream. Not sure your mercy, but hopefully you get lit up. So let's go. Huh? I was hoping like, oh wow, we got a, we got a banger right away. So, <laughs> uh, but but that's okay. We got twenty. Let's go. Hopefully we can get at least two. How about two? It's only six percent chance, right? It's not nothing too insane. Birengiri, uh, Birengiri can actually do um, Bomo ninety now with I believe Wu Kong. So. He previously could not do um, Bomo by himself, but with Wukong, he can do it now. So his value probably goes up a little bit there. All right, moving on. Alika, one of the book reading sisters, I believe. Yeah, look at these books. Unbelievable how they can make a champion that needs so many books. All right, popping out. Another one, Visionary. Absolutely nothing going on with these champions here. Decreased crit rate and crit damage. Crit rate for PvE content is just really bad. So, I mean, like, this is like an arena, not really champion. But anyways, she was a part of a past fusion way back in the day, right? All right. Wow, we got this guy. The most stylish, most intimidating looking uh, champion in all of Talaria. Ulfwig. Ulfrig. Oh my goodness. What is he doing? Turn meter boost, attack all enemies, steal a random buff, and then places continuous heal. Chance to place decrease attack. I mean, moves all decrease attack from all allies at the start of this champion's turn. Okay. I mean, that's something. That's something. I wonder how that fits into his lure. Does he like, is he like a weapon smith or something? How does that work? Hey, Creole in the blue. Actually, an insane epic. I did some videos. I did a video on him recently where he basically was like the critical piece. Um, and it wasn't uh, as it wasn't against the boss that you kind of expect. It was um, obviously against Fire Knight. He's very good, especially Fire Knight hard. Um, he was actually really critical against Nether Spider in Centranos because he froze the um, he could freeze the little spiderlings, so the spiderlings don't. Uh, you know place poisons on you and then you can force you to and then force the big spider to heal up so he can actually stop that so that's actually really nice he brings a team speed up uh which is really good and then he has that triple hit with the chance to freeze on his a1 very very solid epic so let's go we got seven sacred shards in the hole let's see if we can pull a legendary here for mr dream there's dithy boom 25x confirmed working very solid champion he has an aoe decrease defense and then he has extra turn is super nice so this one you basically go increase attack increase accuracy and then you go aoe aoe decrease defense into extra turn and then he got a nice little uh buff steal here going on with zay one 
pretty solid champion uh, good dps actually for the uh, sylvan watchers all right so number eight still coming in here we got jason from friday the 13th <laughs> this guy's so bad <laughs> okay moving on at number nine come on come on give us something give us something where is she from where is she from it looks like i don't know from outer space or something but where where are you from what do you do decrease attack aoe counterattacks when attacked by enemies under decreased attack i mean if she hit like a tank like i mean if she just like obliterated people that makes sense but like okay yeah i mean <laughs> doesn't make sense all right halfway through the sacred shards here i think this is the yeah it's just yeah i mean this is kind of expected right so when you're pulling with when you're pulling without boosted rates at six percent chance um it takes you it's about a coin flip to get a legendary before your 10th shard so right now we're losing the coin flip losing the coin flip here for dream but doesn't mean we can't catch up and here it goes boom oella popping out i don't know if oella is going to make a big difference for mr dream here uh it could be a dupe but oella was an old fusion uh man she got a lot of bad press when she was announced but she's actually very solid turn meter boost with the increased resistance on your whole team and then it's uh, it's for two turns and then she has the increased duration with the big 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 heal 30 percent is a solid heal it's not off her max hp but it's still a solid heal a1 decreased speed single target 100 percent chance um yeah i mean just solid right even Stagnite's double hit is not 100% chance decrease speed, so her decrease speed is super solid, worthy of a legendary. And then uh, she has a passive here that provides some more sustainability for your uh, your team by placing continuous heals. Um, resist in dungeons only, so not as good as like Sifi, which is resist in all battles. But otherwise, she's still solid. She was an old fusion, like I said. Uh, she's decent support. She can play like Ice Golem. She can play in Hydra. Uh, for example but so far we don't really need uh, an increased resistance buff so far but kind of okay increased resistance she doesn't really need accuracy but obviously you want to place the decreased speed so you probably want accuracy on her there's a little bit awkward to build her um yeah but ideally you play with altan of the shell but altan's pretty bad so <laughs> yeah anyways there you go. We got the first legendary after 11. We got nine more to go. So let's keep pulling. No back to back, unfortunately. Let's go. Cage breaker. He's not going to break out of this cage anytime soon. Look, he's stuck. Stuck in there. All right, let's keep going. We got seven more to go for a dream. Come on. Drag. Drag solid. Four turn. Uh, increased defense. Allied protection. And then A1. Uh, decrease attack very good for classic clan boss teams very very solid uh champion or an epic who is this kellen the shriek weaken a1 weaken single target double hit chance decrease turn meter decrease speed places veil attacks all enemies damage increase for five each debuff on the target will ignore shields when attacking under perfect veil He's a damage dealer, but he's probably not going to deal insane damage. Okay. Might be useful. Um, Sylvan Watcher doesn't have that many damage dealers in their faction, so maybe can help for faction wars. Andolf, what is he? He places fear, weaken, reflect damage, and counterattack on himself. Mm, all right. Nothing too amazing there. Maybe for faction wars can be good. Does have the A1 provoke. Hope. No hope for you. Coming up, we got four more to go. Pretty bland, pretty not exciting 20 shards here. I'm not going to lie. Captain Tamila, I mean, you know, still Faction Wars champion, but obviously these are not very good champions. Four, four turn ally protection only. Like, Jarag has defense up ally protection. Like, why do you have just ally protection only? It makes no sense. All right, come on, let's get let's get one more. Come on, from twenty sacred shards, let's get one more here. Bar off the blood soaked. He has what turn meter stuff, right? Decrease attack, decrease defense. Uh, A one, yeah, turn meter fill, yeah. 
I remember this guy. He used to be a part of the first one of the few first fusions that I I witnessed in game back then when I didn't know what the heck was going on. Sanguina as a what is this? Yeah, yeah, she has a block debuff with the small continuous heal. Yeah, uh, transfer debuffs. I forgot what she was used for. Places block debuffs on all allies. But at least she can place block debuffs. I mean, it's three turn cooldown, so it's reasonable. Transfer all debuffs from this to the target. Removes. Oh, she does have a cleanse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, she has a cleanse, right? Yeah, she does have a cleanse. Well, it's not really a full cleanse, but it's something. All right, last the sacred shard. Good luck, Dream. I hope you get something here. Come on. No, oh, it's disaster. It's the freaking disaster, man. 20 sacred shards. You got freaking one. One Lego. Uh, you got one freaking Lego. I can't believe it. These rates are horrendous. Plarium, you're doing it as to us. <laughs> Oh, is it a dupe? Hey, it's a dupe. At least he gets 10% HP for his Sylvan Watcher legendaries. There you go, buddy. All right. Thank you so much, Dream, for letting me pull on your account, man. Best of luck going forward with your um, Deck of Fate event. And uh, yeah, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys got lucky pulling for the Deck of Fate. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.